also the heartbeat, right? How is a heartbeat created? Well, it's actually it actually starts with electricity. So electricity is created in your heart and that triggers the heart to contract. Bam, all right? Now, where is this electricity created and how does it work? Well, you have this thing called the SA node, the sinoatrial node, and this is what sets the pace for your heart contractions. Energy is created here and then it's distributed, it goes this way, this one contracts, this contracts at the exact same time, this, then the impulse is sent down to your AV node, the atrioventricular node, and it just keeps going down into your bundle of his. The message is sent down here. These are called your bundle branches. So bundle branches, I'll put a B for branches, both of these. And then it keeps on going, keeps on going. I'm not sure if you can see these, but there's, there's, there are little yellow lights, light lines that are kind of poking out. These are called your Purkinje fibers. I put PF, Purkinje fibers. So that's exactly how it works. So each contraction is generated by electricity. The electricity is generated in the SA node or sinoatrial node. And then it travels down to your AV node, down to your bundle of his, splits off into your bundle branches, so right and left bundle branches, goes into your Purkinje, fi your Purkinje fibers, and that is exactly how a heart is kind of motivated or it's made to contract, all right? It's through electricity. It's like when you turn your car on, the electricity all comes on, then your motor starts to run. That's kind of how this works. Now, um, but let's say your SA node fails. Let's say that you are having tissue death, right? Now, what's going to happen? Well, your AV node will actually take control in place, in place of the SA node, and now this will generate the impulses. And where I'm going with this is that each one is set at different tones and they have, they're like backup generators to each other. These are, okay? So this one's a backup generator. The atrioventricular node is like a backup generator to your SA node and your bundle of his is like a backup generator to your AV node. And I'm just gonna go over what they, what they are set at. So how many impulses per minute do they actually spark out to create the contraction? So we, you should know that a adult, for an adult, a normal heart rate per minute is between 60 and 100 beats per minute, right? Well, that's because your sinoatrial node bust out between 60 to 100 impulses or signals per minute of electricity to contract your, your heart, your muscle, the muscles of the heart. So that's why. So your sinoatrial node will kind of send out between 60 and 100 signals per minute on average. You know, it, I mean, other factors come into play. Are you working out? Stuff like that. But in, in a patient that's normal, you rested, they, the sinoatrial node will send out between 60 to 100 electrical signals per minute. And then that is what actually makes the contraction, the heart, the heart contractions, the heartbeats occur. Now, let's say this, uh, for some reason, isn't working because you have tissue death, because O2 is not getting here, and this is starting to die off. Well, your AV node will take over, and your AV node will sends out its default to set out between 40 to 60 signals of electricity per minute. So now your patient is going to be bradycar and bradycardiac, or in bradycardia. That's, yeah, it sounds better. Bradycardia. Bradycardia. Brady means slow. Cardia means heart. Slow heart rate. Now, let's say that this is not working. The tissue death is, it keeps on coming down here, right? Because this big part of the heart is, is not getting O2, and it's consistently just starting to die off. Where well, your bundle of his will then take over. And the bundle of his, its default signals, signal per minute is between... 20 to 40 signals of electricity per minute 
So that means your heart rate or your patient's heart rate will be between 20 and 40 beats per minute because the electricity is what generates it or kind of kickstarts it to actually contract. It's like the key, you turn the key, the lights come on, the motor starts, right? But the generator is weak, so your, mo your motor is going to run a lot slower. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to go over the conduction and the default rates for your sinoatrial node, your atrial ventricular node, and your bundle of his. These might come up in a, in a chapter, and it's good to just know about these, know what their default rate. So this is the default rate for these, all right? Default. That means it's automatic. That's where it just falls under. And like always, if you have any questions, you want another video on something else or break this down even more, um, leave a message below. Subscribe if you want to keep on getting these videos. You'll get a little, a little signal or uh, uh, something to pop up, I think. That's how it works. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.